Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. The last couple of videos have been more sit down haul style videos. So I, yeah, I feel like I've been lacking, well, missing more vlogging this week or this last week. So anyway, I thought I would pick up the camera today. I am just having a bit of an at home day today. I've actually got, um, some updates that we had. We had a handyman booked in just to come and hang a few bits, sort some things out, so I'll show you those. And then I do have, I don't know, I can't remember what the last thing is I showed you on YouTube. I know I keep you guys posted a bit more regularly on my Instagram home account, but the garden updates, we basically have had pretty much a week without a gardener. For one reason or another, it just has happened, so, there's probably not been as much progress as I'd have liked. I actually thought bar the kitchen, it would have been done by now. So yeah, we are definitely a little delayed on the garden front, but when does any house update <laughs> stick to a schedule? <laughs> if you've renovated, you'll know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, we'll still, I mean, we're not far off. We've just got a few things and I need to pop to a place that a builder has actually recommended today to go and have a look at some gravel because we need to decide what color we want so i'm going to take um, a sample of the pavers that we've gone for to that place in a sec and yeah choose some gravel i'll take you guys with me there but in the meantime i'll show you what i'm wearing today it's nothing fancy but we've just got a basic white tee on i need to put my hair dryer away and these trousers, it's really annoying, I can't link them because they're so old, but they are some of my most favourite, like, neutral coloured, they're not really a jean, they're like a softer than a jean trouser, but they're a little bit cropped, giving kind of 90s pedal pusher vibes, although they're not that cropped, but they're from a brand called Everlane, and they have some lovely, uh, like, their jeans and everything, really nice quality, but... I'll link some alternatives and some similar ones that I've got um, on my like to note page, which if you don't know, it's essentially an app that I've been keeping updated with all of my kind of links to outfits, even housey bits like bar stools, whatever. Whatever it is that I post a photo of, if I tag anything in it, it will go onto my like to know it, LTK. You can download the app and follow me if you wanted to see that otherwise i'll leave a link in the description box and you can basically just click through and then just see all the links that are any links that i've tagged whether it be outfits jewelry makeup housey things it'll all be on there but anyway um do i need a jacket oh that's the question big big question um i think i might be all right although i do need to do a food shop i'm going to a supermarket you can always get a bit chilly can't it when you're walking down the food aisles the fridge aisles anyway i'm gonna spin you around and show you the little handyman updates that we've had done firstly this mirror we've had and i got this from amazon again i'll leave it linked in the description box so that just kind of finishes off our console area nicely i am thinking about getting another one of these hello another one of these like umbrella baskets just so that we can pop the leads and stuff in there not even use it for umbrellas but just pop the leads in there so that it's nice and symmetrical otherwise yeah this is like a kind of irregular shaped mirror nice and tall really like it and that's the first thing that we've had done. Moving into this room, we've had the photos mounted, photos, the prints mounted, the frame is from HomeSense, and then the print, I've just taken off the glass and kept it so it's nice and matte looking. Um, the print is from Trove Print, it's a beautiful small business that it looks like it's like an oil painting but it is actually just a print, so therefore more affordable. So we've got that one under this light. Then we've also got this one over here. I have a little new in section, which I'm gonna show you later. So we can do a bit of a charity shop haul later on in this video, but one other thing we've had hung in here, if you remember me showing you our print that Tom bought back from South Africa, that has been mounted, it's still got the glass in it, this one, so you can obviously see reflections, it's quite hard to show, but um, yeah, beautiful black and white photo. Um, if I, if you didn't see the story, this guy essentially was photographed. The photographer explained that 
He spoke to him and he was in his best dress, cane in hand, his best suit on, waiting for the bus to go to his daughter's wedding and he was carrying this gorgeous little puppy as a little wedding gift. Nothing else really in here has changed. In the downstairs loo, we've also had these two uh, pictures hung. These were, these were the ones that, if you remember, we picked up from a lovely shop in Alderley Edge called, I think it's called The Potting Shed. It's like a lots of restored items, reclaimed items, and I really like how rustic the frame is, and this glass almost acts as a bit of a mount, like a little bit of a passepartout there. Sorry, you can see again the reflection of the lights, but I love both of those fern prints. We only got two of them, so I thought that wall and that wall, then on this third wall, I'm thinking of keeping my eyes peeled for really small, chunky, like kind of brass gold frames. If you get two of them and kind of stagger them and have little rip outs and cutouts that I saved from the renovation where we found an old newspaper in the wall, I think dated from World War II. So we could pop one of those in like a frame and then maybe even one of the scraps of the wallpaper that I saved from the renovation before we ripped everything out and started afresh. So yeah, I'm thinking of that on the third wall and then nothing else in here. Take you down into the basement. There was one little thing that we had, or two things in here that we had done. Let me just stop the dehumidifier for a sec. In here we have obviously the dog wash station and above it I had this hung which is a kind of white company dupe frame which I picked up from Wilco's with like the miniature frames. I've just had loads of black and white photos printed and popped in there and I kind of, they're all themed around Barney so I thought that would work quite nicely above that dog wash station. So yeah, that's how the utility room is currently looking like. I also had, if I just stand back, you can see I had him hang at these pegs which would be ideal for coats but I'm going to use it for more styling so I'm thinking of popping like a Neptune bag some stems in there and then maybe popping like a rustic bench from home barn or something underneath because I feel like this one's a bit too a bit uh, it's from Wayfair it's nice enough it does the job we've got our like running trainers and walking shoes in there but I just think we can we can do better as for the garden I will uh, show you the updates in a second but I think I want to head to that gravel place first pick up some samples and make a bit of a decision on what gravel we're going to order but before I do that because I'm going to head to Tesco's when I go I thought I would pick um, a I had a couple of new cookbooks I want to have a quick flick through and maybe get some bits for a recipe got a couple up here supper yeah, but I think I might have a look through this Sunday Supper's book. Right, let me just, just turn down Sabrina. I have this sample, which is from Cornstone, and it's the Dijon Blend Limestone, which we have ordered and is being delivered soon. So we've gone for the... 600 by 400 it's not on here but 30 mil thickness so i'm going to take this in with me i've arrived at offerton sand and gravel this is where our gardener has recommended to come so i had a quick look at the website and the ones that i'm looking at i mean obviously look you can get them huge like that but i think the ones that i'm looking at oh here we go the names are on the side cotswold cream Oh, that's a mix, that one. Cotswold cream, yeah. <gasps> I think this one at the end is the one that we're going to be after. Cotswold cream, perfect. And I think I prefer the smaller one at 10 mil. And I feel like that goes quite nicely with it. So yeah, that's the bigger option. Yeah, I think that's too big. I think we should go for the... 10 mil one. Okay, love it. Cotswold cream. That was a nice, easy decision. There are a couple of others that I like the look of. There's a really white one over there. Arctic white and polar white. They're quite nice, but and they actually go quite nicely with the uh, stone, uh, the paving stone, but I do feel like that might be a bit too bright, I think. We just want to warm it up a little bit, and then that one's too orangey. So yeah, I'm thinking the Cotswold stone is the one 
that we're going to go for. Although I quite like the look of this one as well. Heritage Quartz, this one's called. That's quite nice as well. I've got a little bag to take home with me so that I can show Tom, show the builder, and just have it in situ so that I can just double check against like our other towels and stuff. And yeah, really happy with that. So that's Cotswold 10 mil we're gonna go for and delivery, they've said only three to four days. So that works perfectly for us. Oh, I'm so excited it's all coming together. Finally have a sit, a sit, a space to sit outside ahead of the summer sun. degrees outside everyone's in like linen dresses in tesco's and i was like oh it's not that warm especially like i said walking around the freezer section i also there's an m&s here so i picked up this they've got two pound drinks on at the minute so i got myself a little coffee and an entire haul of clothes so i'm gonna do a try on reel on instagram and tiktok very impressed there was even more that i would have got but they just didn't have my size so yeah we'll try those bits on and hopefully i like them we can keep some i've got a bag full of food down there as well and then what else was i gonna say i had a look through that recipe book ended up picking up some biscuits for sweet treats and some like popcorn snacks because i think we might do a bit of a movie night but tom said that he's gonna cook lamb so i took inspiration from one of the dishes and there's like a watermelon feta salad type thing so i'm going to make that and then i'll show you the um i'm gonna have that for my lunch and then i'll show you the lamb I think Tom's doing lamb anyway. He just said that he's gone to the butcher's. So he's sorting out dinner, which obviously I'm more than happy to let him crack on. But I will show you guys because a lot of you say, oh, I'll show more of what Tom cooks. Hello, Barney. Hi, buddy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, look at me bringing all this mud in. <gasps> Come on then, back in. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? What have you been doing? You just been chilling. You been snoozing. Come on then, back inside. Oh. Stay. Stay there. I did treat myself to some flowers. I thought the gypsy feel is looking a little dry now, and I might even move it elsewhere. I picked up some tulips and some carnations to just do a little white bouquet i picked up these for a little treat for tom and i honestly the best they have gone up from two pound fifty to three pounds so they're a one-off treat and speaking of treats again like i said movie night we're thinking um at some point tonight so I like to do popcorn with a few little added chocolate bits in including these as well so they are the treats treat section oh and also these little moons so they, these are gonna go straight in the freezer they're the little mini ice cream things and in the flavor popcorn thought it sounded fun it's a limited edition so i thought i would try it out and then um watermelon coconut lemons got some bird mix popping the bird feeder outside i got some rice cakes as well because i love having as like a light lunch rice cakes with some cream cheese on and like cucumber or sometimes we'll do like feta like i said the watermelon salad but yeah it's a good snack or sometimes peanut butter and banana as well i like and then i picked up some cherry tongs these are like actually a mixed bunch with some of the yellow ones in and plums as well 
onions, avocados, the Philadelphia light for my rice cakes, feta for my watermelon feta salad, as well as some watercress, spinach and rocket mix to just go in that as well. And then I picked up again, sprinkle on top, walnut pieces. And then I got this for a bit of uh, gut health. This is the ginger immunity daily shot. So good for everything. Immunity, gut. A kickstart in the morning. I just love a little ginger shot. We also needed some more salt. So we like to get the modern sea salt flakes. And then I've got some basil. Again, for this salad, it's quite nice to have some fresh basil in there too and as well as cucumber and then some thyme, fresh thyme. I said I would give you guys a bit of a garden update. So this is the, I've just brought them in here, but the gravel that I picked up, the Cotswold cream, along with the Dijon Berlin limestone that I showed you, the paving that we're gonna go for. So they are going to go, I'll show you how the garden's currently looking. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's much of an update since I last spoke to you or showed you on YouTube, but I'll show you anyway. I have to towel out here for this one and kind of cordoned off the stairs so that he doesn't go down there because he does like to go zoomies in the mud pit. <laughs> so, well, mud pit, the mud, which is ready for the, I'm not sure what that pipe is in, doing in the middle. Should put me uh, my garden footwear on, aka okay, Crocs. So anyway, as I was saying, this is how the garden is currently looking like. We have the paving area, which I've ordered, is going to go sort of in an L shape here with outdoor furniture on this section of the L and then the kind of covered kitchen area over this side, which is kind of like the next stage of the garden project, but we'll have all of this done in the meantime so that we can start using it ahead of the kitchen getting built. We'll have the, um, we've obviously got the Gosney oven that we can pop over there for now, and the table as well, which is up here. We can order some chairs and do all of that once the paving's on. And then we're also going to have the paving run down those steps. And then, yeah, the rest of it is going to be predominantly that gravel, the Cotswold cream. So it's going to go, if I come down, it's actually going to go all the way down this side as well, onto the drive. So it's quite a large area. I think he said something like 40 tons of gravel that we need, which is ridiculous. We It's the same with the soil. I think we ordered about 40 tons of soil, 30 or 40 tons of soil. So yeah, lots of big orders going in, but the soil, I think, is done now. I don't think there's any more to be delivered. So as you can tell, this is predominantly leveled. And then this section here with the beds, these are like the lower beds. Um, the soil's been added in there, as well as the higher beds at the back. We're thinking herbs and things across the back, because that one gets the most of the sun. And then, I'm not sure, maybe some little olive trees or something along there. Then we needed some more soil delivered over that side because of the levels, it just needed a bit more in that corner. And then this corner, again, a little bit more needed, as well as um, to fill up this kind of area where we had the reclaimed uh, sleepers that we found in the ground that we've just used for over in that section which I'm thinking the water feature or something over there that's pretty pretty much always in the shade then all of this will be turfed but then we're going to have a semicircle corner here just there which is going to be that's why that's there because it's a different kind of MOT because it's going to be one step up because of the levels uh, it, it would make sense for us to have it a step up. So we're going to have that kind of semi-circled area or corner circle area with uh, like a nice bench, maybe a little fire pit over there, just some more seating. And that's, yeah, the little garden update. We moved our bird feeder from this pole so that they c this can be removed just to the tree for now, but that's not its permanent home. We'll sort out a permanent home. Oh look, they've eaten all the food that I put in there yesterday. Oh no, there's a little bit left. And it will be so nice to have that space back <sighs> to enjoy and start with the garden centre trips. Also, in terms of this section here behind me, all of this is getting rendered the same render as this. It's going to be like a white render as well as the side of the house if I come down here. Yeah, so if you see it from this angle, all of that bit is getting rendered along with this side run as well. So we're getting some more scaffolding being delivered 
to finish off that as well as there's a bit of uh, roof needing to be finished off at the front but apart from that this is how it is all looking Too caught up to see, baby. We can have it all if I just could get myself together. I'm not wasting another minute. If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain. If I never try to. Just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Baby, like the stars I've been a million miles I've just popped the dried dipsophila in this Neptune vase and taken out these stems which were in there and I'm going to take this bag that I use for my shopping with these stems down the stairs into the utility room and pop it on the shelf. Just like I said for a little bit of styling down here we've got a few of these spare Neptune bags so for now I'm just going to pop that there. Um, which way should I do the stems? Facing that way or this way? And then we can pop maybe something else here. I'm not 100% sure what, but maybe even just like one of Barney's dog leads. A clean one. <laughs> just for now anyway, and then I'll get Interesting. There's some more ideas, but for now we've just got a nice lead. This is actually um, pets at home. This is the collar that he always wears. Is from here. I don't know why I just used the barber lead, but it's from Wainwrights. A little kind of kind of country tweed herringbone, green and brown. And then yeah, our Neptune bag with some Neptune stems. If I stand back here, if you imagine the rustic bench down there instead of this one. Although that is practical, though. That's the only other thing. A rustic bench, I suppose we could put some the baskets under the rustic bench. But anyway, for now, this is our little utility space. Just whiz through actually. Have a little kitchen roll here from Aldi, that stand is. I think this is Dunelm. White Company hand soap, Neptune washing up liquid, along with the full range of ironing water, laundry detergent, fabric conditioner, and then I just top these up with like fairy or whatever. Fairy, unstoppables, and some dryer sheets. My jars are from a mixture of places, but usually B and M. Another little rustic thrifted antique stool with a Zara home cloth and brush, which we use for cleaning our boots with. Ordinarily, I usually have it maybe 
in the dog wash like that. Then we have these two jars, which are home bargains with just some dry balls and antique pegs. I don't actually use those, they're just for display, although I do use those. A antique washboard from Home Barn. This is from Matalan with all our laundry pods in and a little bin for the lint from the, what, the tumble dryer in here. Although I might actually pop that, repaint this already, but yeah pop that away so that it's not on display and just pop it under the sink or something. And whilst we're on the topic of kind of like home updates, I'll show you those thrifted bits that I got. Lights on or off? Off, I think. So I saw this unit in, I think it was a Sue Ryder. Really liked it, I thought, Fingers crossed it fits in this alcove and thankfully it does. It came with the drawers and I didn't even want the drawers to be honest with you. Tom actually likes them there but that to me is two bedroom vibes. So I might move the drawers somewhere even if it's just in the storage room for having um, I don't know like screws or batteries in it might be quite handy to have them I'm thinking of sanding this back to see what the colors like underneath but essentially these pull out here we just need to attach some um, little handles although the handles are actually in here if we wanted to use the original same with these bits here and this folds down so that you could have it as a little working desk which actually for me might be quite handy to have a space to work from like this but obviously as you can tell it's very kind of been stained a very orangey color it's all scratched up which I'm fine with but I'm thinking of sanding it back and I'll pop some inspo images on screen of what I've been seeing on Pinterest with kind of like that rustic bureau wooden look all painted it doesn't really matter but either way I'm going to try and send it back see what it looks like and then yeah in here we've just got the uh, handles and everything that are with it. We could even take off the sh these um, and just have it more as shelves as opposed to drawers. But anyway, for now, just keeping it in its original state. They had styled with it these books, which I also picked up. These were two pounds, so it's just a set of three kind of like old looking black books, which I thought would go quite nicely in here anyway. So this unit was 30 pounds. I was umming and ahhing thinking, I don't know if it's gonna fit in this alcove, do I risk it? I was thinking, I just need some kind of a sign, like sign. Am I getting this or am I not? And then I wandered off and then came back to it. And then I looked at the side and look at this sticker, which they've tried to peel off and the only thing left on the sticker, Barney. Our golden retriever is called Barney, so that to me was my sign to just bite the bullet and get it. And for 30 pounds, even if I sand it back, I don't like the look of it. I mean, I've done a little DIY for someone else, could resell it on Marketplace or redonate it to charity. So yeah, I decided to get it, got it home. It fit perfectly in the alcove and I think, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So yeah, at some point I will be doing a little DIY on that. And as for the other things that I picked up whilst I was in that charity shop, or on that little charity shopping trip, I did vlog it or video it for TikTok and for Instagram. So um, if you wanted to see uh, that, then be sure to find that video over there. But Oxfam always draws me in with the Tony. So I did get a milk caramel biscuits Tony's 3 dollars They also had some Zara home bits. They tend to have new Zara stuff, like sample stock or returns or whatever, where it's new with labels. So it is kind of pricey. It's the sort of price that you'd expect to find things maybe in like the Zara sale. So they are brand new, but there's loads of stuff. So I always have a good rummage. When I get Zara Home bits, I'm like, I feel like I've hit the jackpot though. But yeah, these little Zara Home candles were 5 dollars I think they actually agree a rate with Zara because I remember one of the ladies telling me once when they had a huge Zara Home delivery and I was just like going to town. If you saw that video and you remember, let me know. I just picked up so much stuff and I said, um, I asked about the price. I sort of like said, how do you price it? And they said that we actually have has to be like a minimum of 30% of the RRP or something like that she said but anyway and then this is also Zara Home and kind of their clothing Zara Home's clothing is more I would say sort of nightwear $22.99 and it was being sold for $9.99 so yeah pretty much half just over half price and then this also from Zara is $14.99 in a small and it's RRP is $45.99 strapless white or cream I should say 
long, I would say mid axi dress, good for like occasions. I also saw these and I was so tempted to pick these up um, in over Easter. They were this season's stock in George at Asda at six pounds, these Easter fabric crackers. I was like, but I don't know what's gonna be in them. So six pounds, do I get it, do I not? I decided not to. And then, yeah, saw them in here for 1.99. Bought these to pop away for next Easter, for next year. Another Zara item I picked up is this beautiful knit, like cream knit, again, midi dress, mid axi dress, it's like a, standard knit dress vest dress feels lovely it's small at 14.99 there's no retail price on this but yeah i also got this bowl which i don't know where this is originally from but i love the shape of it and i thought it was a nice fruit bowl in the pantry i thought that would look lovely it was 7.99 from oxfam this one I had a good look through the books i always like to have a look at the books at charity shops and i found this one which is called a um, poem for the day one. This is only £1.49 and you literally can follow it. 366 poems, old and new, worth learning by heart. Wow, that would be a challenge to learn this entire book by heart. But should we find the <clears throat> poem for today? Oh, I feel like most of us will know this one. It's called The Owl and the Pussycat. Let's read the day before. Love is love, this is called. May 11th. The lowest trees have tops, the ant her gall, the fly her spleen, this little spark his heat. The slender hairs cast shadows, though but small, and bees have stings, although they be not great. Seas have their source, and so have shallow springs, and love is love in beggars and in kings. Where waters smoothest run, their deepest are the fords. The dull stirs, yet none perceives it move. The firmest faith is found in fewest words. The turtles do not sing, and yet they love. True hearts have ears and eyes, no tongues to speak. They hear and see and sigh, and then they break. By Sir Edward Dyer. And there's a little paragraph at the bottom about him or about the poem. Sir Edward Dyer, poet and diplomat, was born in Sharpen Park, Somerset. He was educated at either Broadgates or Balliol College, Oxford, and then introduced at court by the Earl of Leicester. He wrote an elegy to his friend Sir Philip Sidney, but the most well-known poem attributed to him, My Mind to Me, A Kingdom Is, is probably not by him. Benjamin spoke of his poetry as, wow, I love that name, Benjamin. It's like a bit different to Benjamin, different variety, Benjamin, Benjamin spoke of his poetry as easily among my favorites. In later life, Dyer lived in quiet seclusion. Oh, isn't that the dream? <laughs> love this. This is gonna be a nice addition to my bookshelf and it's got a lovely cover as well. It's just a simple green, um, dark green cover. Poem for the day, one. So I wonder if the fact that this is one, that they're, maybe others of these books but anyway they're my little charity shop purchases plan for now oh should i take you upstairs and show you the tesco's clothing items because i feel like some of you are going to love them very impressed oh hello darling you sweet boy you sweet boy were you sitting in the sunshine were you having a nice little sunday outside We have just stuffed our faces with the most delicious dinner that Tom has just cooked. Honestly, so full right now. I think we're just gonna have some snacks later on this evening. But before I end today's vlog, I wanted to share with you the Tesco items that I got so that I can do a bit of a try on with you and show you what they look like on. But I am so impressed with the range at F&F &F at the moment. I am gonna start with an essential from Tesco's. If you're yet to try the piped PJs, oh my goodness, oh my god, they are so soft. I love them. Um, I have got a longer pair, but I decided to pick up a shorter pair just for the summer months, just the grey 
piped PJs. I hate to say it, but I actually reach for those ones more than my white company ones. I think it's purely because the white company I've got in a small, whereas my Tesco's ones I've got in a medium, so they're just a bit comfier and a bit slouchier, but they feel just as soft and as cozy, so check out the Tesco's PJs. Anyway, I also got this linen, I, I thought it was a play suit at first, but it is actually a dress, like a button down safari style cargo pocket dress. And it does have a um, cinched in kind of like design here, but the drawstring doesn't actually pull in. So you can't size up and then pull in, if that makes sense. So I got this in a 12, it's probably a bit too big for me. Um, £22.50, okay, these prices, supermarket prices oh they're going up but the style and the quality is there 16 pounds for this top they had this one in a black and i just thought this would be such a good staple uh like knits kind of like a cap sleeve top knit top even just with like the trousers that i've got on today for like an, a monotone kind of neutral look also picked up this which again they had in just a plain black i went for medium in this 1950 for a gorgeous dress and therefore full outfit i think this one's well worth the money it's kind of like a crochet knit slit at the bottom it does come with the little kind of tie waist this linen set comes with you've got the blazer which i sized up to a 14 for a more boxy fit 39.50 and then the options that come with it you've got a short a linen short which i got in a 10 but i feel like they're maybe just a bit short for me i don't know maybe it's just i need to get a bit of confidence <laughs> or a tan um but yeah 100 linen short 1950 i think for 100 linen these are pretty great value for money i also got the trousers which i love trousers are my favorite so i definitely am keeping these they do have the elasticated waist which makes them comfortable but not the nicest style i don't think so i probably would only wear this as like um like with a baggy t-shirt or you know something untucked a shirt or the blazer to go over the top uh or just for a more casual look but yeah they're a wide leg linen then they also come with the option of a skirt so this is a bit different for me because it's kind of like a pencil skirt high-waisted it's got a slit at the back skirt suit for work could be really nice you know if you worked in like an office but then also this skirt with like a nice loose fit linen shirt a boxy white tee with some like little sneaker style beige trainers and then they had that suit set also in this fabric so i did get this fabric in something else but if you prefer oh and they had waistcoats as well I forgot to mention that they had waistcoat they just didn't have any in my size and then they had this striped version as well. But in this striped version, they also had this short, like linen, more relaxed fit short. Again, the drawstring's not real. It's a shame that they've kind of gone to the extent of making such lovely items, but then sacrifice something like that, which I think is so important. But anyway, uh, it was 14 pounds these were in a, 12 so the matching shirt uh i got in a they only had sizes 18s and 20s so i went with an 18 i would probably stick with this size and just wear it undone with like a white tee underneath or a little white vest that's this bit of a wild card for me a bit of a dressier number and it was in a size eight so it does fit me because it's nice and uh stretchy this i would say is more like night out style which i don't really tend to wear dressy outfits like this so cost per wear is probably going to be minimal with this how much was it it was 22.50 size 10 would have been better so yeah let me know what you think of this one like i said a bit of a wild card for me but anyway that is everything that i got is that everything yeah that's everything so i'm going to close off today's video here so thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed thumbs up if you have subscribed for more and i hope to see you all again next time bye guys